In our devotional for today, I want to talk to you about where faith comes from. And our verse is Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Ready? So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, we often want to think that faith or unbelief has to do with our circumstances or our environment. Of course, I'm having a hard time trusting God, I think. Look at the mess I'm in. Yet the link between our situation and our trust in God isn't always what we might think. In Numbers chapter 13, Moses sent 12 spies into the promised land, and they each saw the same things as they surveyed the land, and they all came back to give the report to Moses and to the nation of Israel. Ten of the spies said that the land was good, just as God has promised, yet the enemies of the land were too strong, and taking the land would be a suicide mission. But two of the spies objected, and they presented the minority report. They agreed that the land was good, just as God promised, but they believed that God would work through them to conquer any enemy in Canaan. They knew that if God's word was right about the land, I mean, he said it was good and it was good, then God's word would be proven right about the promise to give them the land. God's word fulfilled gave them the faith to believe God's promise for the future. Now, here's what I'm getting at. The 10 who had unbelief and the two who had faith, they each saw the same things. They saw the same grapes, the same men, the same land, the same cities, but two came back singing in faith and 10 were filled with a sense of certain doom. It wasn't their experiences that made the difference. They had the same experiences. It was something deeper. Ultimately, faith does not spring from circumstances or environment, but it springs from our heart and especially from the work of God's word in our heart. We can blame our unbelief on the difficult times in our life, but really faith or unbelief are not connected to our circumstances. Let me illustrate this with a story. Uh, Two sons had a terrible alcoholic father. They were brother and their brothers and their father was a terrible alcoholic. But each son was very different from the other as an adult. One of them was a responsible, godly man, successful in his family, successful in his business, successful in life. The other son became an abusive alcoholic, just like his father was. Now they asked each one of the sons, why did you turn out the way that you did? And they each had the exact same answer. They said this, with a father like mine, how could I have turned out any differently? Today, let's bring ourselves to the God who can change our hearts. Let's not wait for an environment or circumstances to build faith in us. Listen, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let your faith be built up today.